All right. Um, hello, everyone. It's Wes. Uh, I don't think I've made an entry. Golly. Entry. Like I'm doing some type of journal. Um, I don't think I've had a video for a while uh, since I... I think I did my Cobb Poolery entry, uh, which was the academic. It didn't win, but um, it was it was a lot of fun to make. Um, so I'm excited for next year. Um, wanted to um, bring this out for you guys to see. Uh, I'm probably going to smoke some of this. This is all of our favorites. Uh, McBaron HH Old Dark Fired. Um, I don't have much of this left. Um, I actually jarred some of this, so I put it in a jar, and um, put a, or saturated one um, rag, or a, a, a paper towel, with some bullet rye, put that into the jar, and left it for a week, um, and the, the rag was, the towel was pretty well soaked with rye, and it was crazy, because I, uh, this is my just original, um, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot left, but um, it'll be fine. So, hope it's not too dry. Um, anyway, the rye definitely gave um, gave the tobacco a pretty good sweet flavor on the front end. Um, so, as you're drawing the smoke into your mouth, it definitely has a a sweeter taste, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and I tried them side by side. So first, first time around, I tried it with, um, I tried it with the non, non, uh, ride, whatever you want to call it, um, affected, the, the tin. I tried it with the tin tobacco that I hadn't done anything with. And then after a bowl of that, I switched over to the rye. Um, and I could tell there was definitely some change in the, um, taste. Wow. Uh, next time around, the next day, I smoked it the other way and did rye first with the regular Whoa. second. And yeah, I could definitely tell there was some difference. So, um, wanted to share this with you guys, uh, since I know you guys like to kind of, oh, you like explain it or, or <coughs> what is it? Uh, another box opening or a pipe opening, whatever, a yabo. Um, I don't have a new pipe. I haven't bought a new pipe for a long time. Um, and usually when I do, they're just cobs. Uh, I definitely have a budget. Um, but I pulled my Dremel out the other day and um, decided to just start whittling. I think I showed you guys um, in my cob foolery entry, showed you guys a, 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 what is it, a Missouri Pride cob that I had carved a spiral into the stem. Um, and it was pretty cool. So, um, I did the same thing to my, um, so I, my cob foolery entry, obviously I used a pencil for the stem, so I didn't need the stem that came with the um, Naked General that I got the kit from uh, Scott at Aristocob. So with that extra stem, I was like, you know what, I don't have a cob, you know, a bowl to get in the way, I'm just gonna whittle on this and make it my own. Um, so I started off with a cool pattern with a bunch of spirals. And um, I mean, I started off with the spirals, and I was going to do spirals at the top, and then there were going to be some gaps. And in those gaps, I was going to have holes, but I ended up starting to drill the holes out. And I think what I needed was a tapered, um, I guess it's a tapered drill tip. So instead of carving a hole, it would just bevel a hole. And uh, it just ended up not working out well. So I just kept the uh, spirals going, and I think it turned out real well. And um, anyway, so today, what I ended up doing was, hold on, my three and a half year old is pitching a fit. Let's find out why. Hey Sam, let's go inside and check on Ben. Instead of sitting at the door. Uh -oh. Bye, what's up? Alright. Alright, so, um, Sorry about that. Baxter, you want to say hi? You want to come say hi to everybody? Max, look right here. No, 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 not on the table. Ha! Come here, buddy. Come here. This is Baxter. He is the best dog in the whole wide world. Uh, yep, thanks. All right. No, go on. Go. Go, go. Um, so, what I ended up doing was, as I was showing you this, uh, the spiral. Um, today, I, uh, 
I thought I would try, since you can't get a Morgan pipe, uh, either naked or um, polished, you can't get one of those um, in a kit form, at least not to my knowledge. Um, Scott, maybe that's a request for uh, for Missouri Meerschaum, see if they can release, release different um, models as kits. I know that there's the MacArthur, the General, and then the, um, the Country Gentleman. Uh, maybe it's worth a question to them, see if they can release other ones. But I absolutely love the Morgan Naked version. Um, actually, I requested specifically on my order from Aristocob uh, to have one that had a little bit more red tint to it. Um, I just think the red on the cob just looks awesome. And I do think that the uh, bowl doesn't get as hot on the... Um, on the naked bowls, if so, without the polished, um, the plaster and lacquer and stuff. So anyway, um, all that to say, you're probably thinking, well, Wes, that's a funny looking stem you got on there. Well, it's actually a slim stem. It's not the regular stem uh, size. Um, let me grab the Danish. Uh, I got the Danish bit over here. I mean, I don't have any issues with the Danish bit. Um, it's just, I really think I don't have an amber regular bit um, or the Danish. I don't have either of those. And since the Morgan is a relatively smaller bowl, um, I think having a larger shank, uh, well, this is actually, come to find out, um, the slim shank and the uh, regular shank that takes a filter. They're roughly the same size. Um, I actually have my phone propped up with one right now, um, the one from the original Morgan. Um, they're roughly the same size. So what I ended up doing, since we all know the slim bits don't fit, you know, it's too loose in the filtered stems, what I did was I got a dowel, which I have out in the garage, um, got a, a dowel, and drilled one really small hole, drilled the next a little bit bigger, and worked my way up to the size I needed to fit the stem in. And then after that, I cut it to size so it would fit inside this. Um, it'd go all the way down as far as, as that would go. Put it on there, and then <laughs> gradually I pulled out my, uh, pulled out my trusty razor. Um, my utility knife and for the last 30 minutes I have been whittling that down so it's thin enough to fit inside that existing stem or I guess I don't know if you call it the tenon you pipe makers out there um, give me a give me a shout let me know um, I think the tenon I think the tenon is this part is the part right here um, but anyway so I, I wiggle it down small enough so it would fit in there and then um, put on the cool, uh, what do you call it, the spiraled, I, I, that was just a, a gimmick that I did, but put that on there, you can barely tell anything, and the coolest part is, I can keep the slim stem on this Morgan while using a filtered stem that came with the general Cobb Foolery kit, the Naked General. Um, so anyway, um, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, it's a little damp, but anyway, because um, I, I had it, I was, so I was gonna tell you guys. Originally, I had it you know, on the stove, and I was boiling a pot of water, and my plan was to boil it so that I could uh, bend, <laughs> bend the stem. That was not a good choice. It did not work very well, um, and what ended up happening was the glue just softened up. Uh, which once the glue was soft, the stem came out, and I realized I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So, um, I'm going to light this up real quick and uh, enjoy myself a nice smoke before we have burgers and hot dogs tonight. It's getting to that weather out here, guys, and I desperately need to mow my yard. Um, I have a lot of dandelions in my yard this year. Not really sure why. All right, well, let's give this a go. Um, I haven't smoked it yet, but it's the bowl I've been smoking. Um, I just love the way this looks. The silver and the amber slim, it just looks awesome. I, I think it's great. So we'll see if this works. I have enough lighter fluid.
bad. Hmm. That, uh, I swear. If you haven't picked this up, the uh, old dark fire, old dark fired. I would highly recommend it. Um, I like burley, um, unflavored burley. Uh, I've started to jump a little bit more back into aromatics, but um, I don't know. It's just I think I mentioned last time. It's mostly because I'm not a big fan of the way I smell. I kind of smell like. Uh, it's not campfire, you kind of smell a little bit like cigarettes. Um, and I smoked cigarettes back when I was in college, gave it a go, um, and, uh, you know, it wasn't my thing. Um, but, uh, it just, yeah, I don't know. The unflavored tobacco. Just kind of left me smelling a little funny, and my wife didn't appreciate it. Um, and some of you are saying, well, who cares what your wife thinks? Well, I care what my wife thinks, and, uh, she says I smell funny and would prefer I not smoke that tobacco. I'm not going to smoke that tobacco. Um, I want to respect my wife. Um, and that's a way that I can choose to love on her. Um, so, anyway, a little bit of dying to self is at least, I think, what, what the Bible says is die to yourself. Um, anyway, it's not Cobb Tuesday. Heck, it's not even. I don't really care what time it is. Um, I love, I like corn cobs. I think they're the best. Um, I've been looking at the new catalog that came out from Pipes and Cigars. Uh, their pipe sale. I just can't get into it. I, uh... There's just something about cobs. I just like them. Um, they're cheap. Uh, easy to maintain. Uh, I don't have to worry about dropping one or breaking one. I always say that, but I've never dropped one or, or I've dropped them, but I haven't like broken one or haven't had one get damaged. Um, so anyway, um, that's about it. Just wanted to get on here and show you guys my, my odd little Frankenstein creation. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll buy kits and retrofit them, carve spirals in them and sell them for a couple bucks more than I paid for them. I don't know. Um, but that was actually a recommendation from Al the Piper. I don't know if you guys have seen his videos. Um, yeah, he's uh, one of our buds, and um, he recommended that about because um, I know him outside of just the YouTube pipe community. And uh, it's just funny because he said, "You should start selling those. I'd buy one." <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Uh, it's Thursday. We're rolling into Friday. Um, at, school that I, at the school I work at, we're rolling into graduation week and, uh, and then into the summer schedule, which is always busy uh, being a part of a facilities team in a large school campus. So anyway, um, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Have a good weekend. Uh, make good choices. Uh, and who knows? Get outside. Enjoy some fresh air. Smokable for me. We'll see you guys there. See ya.